hello guys welcome to my youtube channel uh, let's uh, get started with another video of bitcoin options trading chart analysis in the last two videos we discussed on few positions first was option selling the next day was option buying as i said if you are new to my channel i recommend you guys to uh, subscribe to my channel as well as uh, watch my videos because uh, i put options uh, trading so i mean not the strategies i would say my my positions what is my trading how did it went i'll do the review of the trade things like that so it will be a basic um uh, if you are like let's say you are a beginner uh, to this particular process you can see live what's happening in my trade and things like that so i recommend you guys to follow my channel if you are into this if you are into options trading um in cryptocurrencies and i trade only on bitcoin so let's get uh right into the today's content so you guys remember last day we were talking about the uh, one of the strategies which we were talking over here i'll take the 15 minutes chart if you remember um, if you remember the last video sorry if you remember the last video if you remember in the last video uh, the market was recovering over here at this particular point of time yeah, sorry. Okay, so you can see uh, yesterday. Uh, I mean, not yesterday, day before yesterday. Yesterday, I didn't do the trading because I was out with my friends. I was not here to, I was not in laptop actually. I went for a trip. So, uh, coming back to the topic. So, yesterday, as we saw the market, did uh, I mean, day before yesterday, market did a big downturn this is a cup shape recovery right so at this point of time we were in the video if you remember the last video we were over here and i was telling them i have my, my conviction is the market will go down and i am shorting so what what i did was i i bought a put option over here of um, a minimum 100 uh, i think if roughly about 500 contracts if i'm not wrong i bought a 500 contracts of uh, put option i put I, ent I entered over here right over here why because i mentioned it in the last video why and what happened and uh, i gained a good amount of profit over here and as i said when it touched the 200 ma i'm out yes when the moment it touched the 200 ma i was out so i didn't got the 1000 points profit instead i got was 750 points profit so i made roughly about 200 percentage of my capital deployed in that particular trade so it was uh, a really good trade i hope you guys uh, have a similar experience you guys uh, made profit with this uh, uh, particular strategy or um, in this particular day yeah now we go to yesterday yesterday's uh, just just a quick review because yesterday anyways i didn't do a trade trade yesterday as well as uh, actually i did a trade just today not yesterday i was hoping the market to fall down vigorously but it bounced back so uh it was just a small trade i tried to do inside the car but anyways i'll just give a brief yesterday market didn't move really vigorously or anything like that it was just a slow day i would say it's uh it was just moving within a particular range it was just going at like a small uh upward trend making uh higher lows and uh, higher highs and just going in a slow uptrend the moment it breaks the trend i ended the trade over here but uh, it went down till here, but then later it bounced back and hit, hit my stop loss. I think I lose about, uh, uh, I think if, if I'm not wrong, I lose about uh, five, less than 5 percentage of my total uh, capital on that particular trade. Because I was in my car, I was not going to deploy more than that because I definitely I'm not, I will not be able to monitor the, um, monitor the trade. Yes. So let's talk about today. Let's talk about today's topic. Now we are going to talk about the analysis of uh, uh, Bitcoin options 8 we are talking about the contract which is going to expire on 8 when we say today for sure we we are all in different different time zones so I'm talking about 8th of July contract and what is my expectation on this particular day as you know it's a Friday so I expect a lot of thing in the market Friday and Monday is my favorite days because I know that the, the momentum will be high in these two days so I'll be definitely doing option buying in these two days. So let's let's have a look at what happened in the uh, Bitcoin chart on the last Friday. So this is the last two Fridays as you can see the market 
up and over here it was moving very slow then it did a huge uh, uptrend after it went to a downtrend so it was like a 1000 point moves and bitcoin moved up again then it consolidated a bit so it closed around 1000 point uh, 700 points above the opening positions so the previous friday was really good as you can see the market went really high from 19,000 to all the way till 26 itself close to 1,500 points up then it came down uh, 500 points 600 points 700 points and market closed the same around same place where it started on last friday so for today what do i expect in the market let's look at our charts and see so as you can see this is a one hour chart of uh, btc to usdt in the, in the trading view and I'm just, uh, as you can see, I put an alert in 2700. That is the important point for me for the particular day. For this particular day, so 8th on the 8th contract, I'm looking at this particular point. So what am I looking at? As you can see, this is really a hot zone. It was really a hot zone before as well. As you can see, when the market was coming down at this particular point of time, it, it was acting as a resist, sorry, support for a long period of time, right? Then the market break and it went all the way down. Then made a up, recovery. It made a small recovery, then came down, then came up. Now the market is coming back to that same point in which it was stuck for a long period of time. So I can say it's a really strong, really, really strong point, 2700. If the market is going to break this particular black line, which is a 2578, and if a one hour candle, a one hour candle is going to form above this particular line this particular black line is at 2578 then that means you don't have to exactly look at oh did, did it cross 2578 just look at the chart pattern and understand if it's going to cross above that particular range if it's the one hour candle is going to go above 2578 or 2580 range then it's a good opportunity for us to go along in this particular trade so we can go really long and where can we book the profit you can book the profit at 21.390. This will be a really good level. I suspect the market will stop a bit over here at 21,000, then to go up all the way. All right. So we'll just look in the 15 minutes chart because, as I said always, I always look 15 minutes chart. This is the chart that I use for booking profits and things like that. For me, it is quite clear. I marked that point. The under black point is uh, right over at 21.390. So if the market is going to break this particular point. I'm gonna take book the profit till here. So it is a uh, sweet, uh, close to close to one thousand points. Uh, uh, we'll get uh, in this particular trade. But if even if I get 700, 800 points, I'll, I'll be happy in this particular trade. So if I'm entering this trade, if it's going to be a breakout over here, I'm going to enter in with uh, twenty five percentage of my capital because I do. I'll be very confident with this particular trade. Let's assume. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll talk one more thing. Uh, for you guys to make a bit more clear so this is a five minutes chart and you can see it's a cpr so so it's all right over here you see a yellow line this is yesterday's high if any any candle in a five minute go above this that means it's going to give a closing above this particular yellow line this is yesterday's high if it's going to close above this uh particular yellow line then you can you can get you can get prepared for the trade don't enter the trade you just get prepared for the trade be ready for it go to the 15 minutes just get the confirmation that any candle is forming in 15 minutes just to confirm all right once you get the confirmation only you enter the trade and if you need more confidence i recommend you to wait till one hour chart to wait uh for that move but to be honest if you wait for one hour chart it will be a long time and what if a really big candle go all the way up then you're gonna miss the entire opportunity right so I recommend you sorry I recommend you to look the five minutes chart wait for the confirmation as soon as it breaks yesterday's high then what you'll do you will go back the 15 minutes candle and check the particular line which I draw over here 2578 you can draw in your chart as well 2578 or 2600 uh, around 2600 is, is also okay you just look at 2600 as well if it's breaking if a green candle is breaking this particular line then you can go for a long position 
And if you're going for a long position, for sure, our, our expectation is to go higher. As I said, the profit would be there, and you can put the uh, your stop loss right right below the CPR. So if you look at the five minutes candle, it will be somewhere around here, twenty one hundred, and here, yeah, roughly about here. So you can put around twenty three hundred or twenty one hundred. It's based on you, or you can put the uh, your stop loss below the two hundred EMA as well. Yeah, but um, this is this is my this is my view. Okay don't get me wrong here i'm not asking you guys to do this you have to do it based on what is your view but this is my view and let's say if we break out with a big candle in five minutes and it from a really strong really long wick and it is coming down there's a red candle breaks the same this particular point the soon after the red candle break the 22578 point and is still coming down don't think twice it, it may be a false breakout you can just go for a shorting position that means you can go you can buy a put option over there or even you can sell you can use a uh, option selling method because it will be a downtrend then it will be a bull trap over here and the market will be dropping quite bad uh, towards the bottom since the, it already happened very recently i my assumption is to this breakout will be a big breakout for us and it's gonna go all the way to 21400 so i'll be going long this is my view okay so guys this is my view uh for tomorrow's trade which is eighth of contract so what i'll be doing i'll be just to make it clear i'll be going to the delta exchange i'll open the contract now 7th july is happening which is uh roughly about to finish right now so i'll go for 8th of july so 8th of july i can see all the contracts and everything I'll be going, I'll be doing option buying today because the market is trending. Monday and Friday, my favorite days, I'll go for option buying. Saturday, Sunday, yes, I'll do option selling. Confirm 100%. But uh, the other days, I'll wait for a move. But I think I'm going to have a really good move on this particular uh, on this particular day. So 8th, 8th of July contract is what we are talking just now. Yes. Apart from that, I really appreciate you guys watching my video. Uh, thank you for your support and if you have anything to ask me or things like that I recommend you guys to put it in the comment. I'll try my best to answer if it's something very difficult for me to uh, Give back I learn and uh, give back uh, get back to you guys as well. Yeah uh, Apart from that nothing else guys. Thank you so much for watching and Trade safe. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye